YouTubers and Pokemon fans, welcome to day 26 of our tin opening marathon with a different tin every day in the month of March. Today featuring a Delphox EX tin. So you have just five tins left after today as this is day 26. So less than a week to go and then we'll be back to more traditional, uh, more uh, traditional programming I guess you'd say. So. Let's crack in here and see what we've got. First of all, of course, the promo, the Delphox EX XY19 with Psybeam and Wonder Flare. Looks like this one's off-centered. Not as bad as some of the others we had in the marathon, but still obviously not exactly centered. And it's off-centered in both directions, so yeah. Wouldn't be a great PSA grade due to the centering. But anyways, there's the code card and then four packs. So we got two Flash Fire, XY Base, and Legendary Treasures. Is that the same that we had yesterday in our Eveltal tin? It might be. Or did we have Plaza Blast? Let's see. Well, actually, still on the table. Yeah, we had Plaza Blast instead of Legendary Treasures. So I think I might actually like this to start more just because you're more likely to get something, you know, shiny in Legendary Treasure at least. We'll go XY Base first, and then Legendary Treasures, and then we'll go searching for that Phoebus and the Charizards as well. As my empty tins kind of fall over next to me there. I got kind of a mountain. Quite the stack started up over there. Anyways, we start off today's tin with a pan seer. I always think that hair looks like ice cream or, well, maybe not ice cream. Maybe, maybe something a little more icky. But uh, moving on, Hone Edge, Spoink, Honyard, Jigglypuff, awesome, Kakuna, Diggersby, Shadow Circle, Spupa Reverse Uncommon, and an Agislash. So, nothing particularly awesome there, other than Jigglypuff. Legend Daily Treasures. I feel like I haven't gotten a gold card from this set in a long time. And I got them in our case opening of Legendary Treasures. Whoops, let's see. Two, two, and two is what I usually do. Let's see how we do. Trubbish. Zoroa, Piplup, Swablu, Duat, Rimplup, Piplup, Ursarain, Zapdos Hollow, very nice, and a Seismitoad. So at least we get a Hollow Rare. Still a nice, be nice to get some Ultra Rares. I feel like we haven't gotten that many Ultra Rares. Like, I think our ratio for Legendary Treasures even so far in this marathon has been not good. I think we have two... Um, Radiant Collection Full Arts, and that's it. And we've opened a decent amount of Legendary Treasures, but it is what it is. On to Flash Fire with a Sneasel, Flabebe, Fletchlane, Shanks, Sandile, Fletchinder, Ultra Ball, Dusclops, Pidgeot Reverse, that's a rare, and a Hollow Shiftry with the ability Leaf Draw. So we're up to two Hollow Rares, and a reverse rare as well. But we are on to our last pack. Last chance for glory. Let's realize that we got the two flash fire pack arts that do not feature Charizard. Hopefully we'll get a Charizard in the packs then to make up for it. Let's find out with Pineco, Buizel, Centret, Sfeel, Scraggy, Lysander, Dusclops, Pidgeotto, Send Dial Reverse and a Scrafty. So our polls fare better today than yesterday, where outside of maximum hardness, if you don't know what I mean, click the i card and check out uh, yesterday's opening. Uh, we definitely had better quality polls today. There are, if I want to make a five card poker hand of our best stuff, or whatever you want to say, that is what I go with. Two Hollow Rares, a Lysander, Reverse Rare Pidgeot, and you gotta throw a Jiggy Puff in there for the kicker. So, that's how we fare today. Please subscribe if you aren't already. Rock smash that like button. Visit our website, thepokecapital.com. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for some more Pokemon opening goodness, which will include a Blastoise EX-10 for the marathon. See you then, everybody.